discovery gives us a hint that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. NASA says it's found seven Earth-sized planets orbiting around a nearby star. Some are in a zone that would make the conditions for life as we know it possible. Astronomer Dr. Nicole Lewis joins us live from the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland with the details. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. So in the huge scope of the universe and space exploration, I mean, these planets are relative, fairly close. I mean, less than 40 light years from Earth. Why are we just now discovering this? What, what was it that, that allowed us to make the discovery? Or I should say you scientists to make the discovery. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we've expanded sort of the, the, where we look for life. Um, and in particular, we've started looking towards these smaller, cooler stars, um, which are actually some of the most numerous in our galaxy to look for planets. Um, and we were using the Spitzer Space Telescope that's probing exactly the right wavelength ranges to detect these planets in particular. Mm. So basically, we've just been honing the facilities and our techniques to be able to detect these Earth-sized planets around this uh, cool star. Okay, so several of these planets are what are known as, and I love this, that they're in that Goldilocks zone. The temperature's not too hot, temperature's not too cold. So explain why that's even more exciting. Yeah, so uh, this, this, the star that these plants are around is actually cool enough that liquid water could potentially for, uh, exist on all of these planets, but there are three in particular that are just at the right distance from their host star that we expect that uh, liquid water could pool on the surface, and of course that is what we need to support life. Yeah, water key for life, and, and how will NASA determine from here on out now if there's water, if there could be life on these planets? Yeah, so NASA will continue to study these uh, planets in detail uh, using the Spitzer Space Telescope to give us better constraints on the actual size of the planets. And then uh, right now the Hubble Space Telescope is studying these planets um, using the, the transit technique. So we study these planets because they uh, pass in front of the host star as seen from Earth, and that gives us a really good handle on their size, but also allows us to take a peek into their atmospheres. Mm, we say they're fairly close, but that, I, we kind of laugh at it because, I mean, it would take like millions of years even on like our fastest spacecraft to, to ever get there so it's not like we're, we're going to be like visiting anytime soon <laughs> no i i suspect we're not going to be visiting in person anytime soon uh, but we're going to point a whole host of a whole host of space telescopes at the system to try to understand it better um, in particular, like I mentioned, the Hubble Space Telescope is currently looking at the system and is going to allow us to figure out sort of what, what the air is made of on these planets. Uh, we're launching soon the, the Transiting Exoplanet uh, Survey Satellite TESS, which is actually going to do a whole sky survey looking for other systems like this one. Oh. And then finally, we're going to launch the James Webb Space Telescope in late 2018 that's allow, it's going to allow us to give, uh, get detailed information about the planets and their atmospheres. Are you going to name these planets? I mean, right now it's just like they we're just given letters. Are, is there going to be like some contest or something? No, uh, we typically just stick with this convention. Otherwise, it would get uh. too confusing. Um, we know of over 3,000 exoplanets right now, and it's easier oh. to just keep them as the, the name of their host star. <laughs> wow, goodness, geez, that, that, lots of handle. Thank you so much for your yeah. insight. Quite a discovery. Lots more work that needs to be done. Uh, we're going to put more information about NASA, the details about this huge discovery on our website, fox4news.com. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.